dark <laughs> we're on our way this morning to mount bromo in east java still yes we're still in east java and we are up at dark 30 again today to take a good old american jeep tour up to the top of mount bromo so in this video we're going to give you a tour of mount bromo via jeep and all the surrounding area again we are not in an American Jeep we are in a Toyota Land Cruiser <laughs> enclosed and we're sitting in the back a bit before <laughs> we were in a Toyota Land Cruiser not a Jeep mm -hmm. but now I'm happy we're in a Land Cruiser because it's a bit cold up here yes and so the Land Cruiser is handy because you're in an enclosed box <laughs> so that's good I don't know what the temperature is here but it's cool enough that you can see your breath when you speak we are in the highest point to waiting for the sunrise so we'll be here for a couple of hours waiting for the sunrise. Until the sun comes up, it'll be a little bit cool, I think. Yes. If you're curious about this experience, <laughs> the cost for the Land Cruiser rental is 1.5 million rupiah. Yes. Which is about 100 US dollars. And that's a 12 hour tour. So that's up the mountain and back down. Should be about a 12 hour day. So that's a pretty good value. And the park entrance fee is also different. So locals will enjoy the benefit of only paying 40,000 IDR, which is about three US dollars. Foreigners, you can expect to pay 250K IDR or 17 US dollars. And that is the tourist tax. <laughs> I think Indonesia is the only country in the world that I've been to where the Fees for tourist attractions are blatantly different. They're posted on signs, it's not hidden. Foreigners will pay a different price than locals, so just be prepared for that. I have an Indonesian residency card and I still pay the foreigner price. <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense, but anyway, we're here now and we're just waiting for the uh, sun to rise and then we'll go and get some great footage of Mount Bromo. starting to get some light in the sky. <laughs> Soon maybe the fog will push back so we can show you the actual mountain. Right now it's still all foggy. It's quite chilly here. Mm -hmm. We're under the blanket now. We got a blanket. There's a lot of vendors here renting these blankets <laughs> for 20k IDR. 
which is about a dollar fifty yeah. U.S. We decided to take advantage of that. <laughs> now we're bundled up until the sun comes out and warms us all up. Sunrise today. No real sunrise. No. Just a lot of fog and dampness. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's strange. There's so much dampness that it attaches to the trees and then falls off the trees. And so it always seems like it's raining. So the the mountain here keeps a dank kind of feeling all morning. We cannot show you the sun sunrise. <laughs> so we're headed back down. We're going to try to get a volcano view and we'll see if we're more successful. Mount Bromo, you see it behind us, covered up in the fog still. Mm -hmm. The sun is trying to come out a little bit, but still a lot of fog. But here's the base of the, of the uh, volcano, and it's an active volcano. Last time it erupted was in 2005, so not that long ago. Temperature is still cool, not as misty or damp down here, but we'll show you around a bit. You can see the, the fog floating around the mountain and still hanging above us. Mm -hmm. It's a very moist fog, so up on the top where we were at before, it was quite rainy and wet. What's amazing about this uh, land cruiser tour is there's probably a hundred land cruisers out here with different guests from different parts of the country and international guests as well. And everyone's trying to get up here and see the sunrise and then come to the volcano. I'm looking in the distance and I'm probably seeing a land cruiser of every color <laughs> in the color spectrum. Sekarang kita lagi di Gunung Bromo. Dingin. Beda dari 10 tahun yang lalu waktu aku ke sini. Enggak ada sunrise. <laughs> Mataharinya sembunyi, malu. <laughs> Tapi tetap aja indah. Lihatlah. Nah, aku ini itu namanya Gunung Batok. Ini salah satu gunung yang besar paling besar di Bromo. Terus yang di sebelah sana ini namanya Gunung Widodaren. If I'm not mistake, but yeah, this is Widodaren. <laughs> And beside that, there's the volcano. As you can see behind me, there's the actual volcano. It's a crater in the gap there between the two mountains. And so you, if you were here, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the color on the mountain is definitely a different color, I guess, from all the sulfur and all the, all the heat. <laughs> and the mountains, of course, have much more green that are right beside them, but that gap has a lot of gray and black. 
But yeah, the sun's uh, lighting everything up very nicely now. And we're finally getting some warmth. All morning it feels like we've been in a different place. Uh, <laughs> it's not Indonesia. And now we're finally getting back to a normal temperature. What do you think about Mount Bromo? <sighs> it's better now the sun came out. It's warmer. Before it was uh, quite dank and damp and wet and cold. <laughs> here because there's donkey poop everywhere the donkeys take people up at the base of the volcano and then you can walk up the steps after that so at this point right now Ronnie doesn't stop walking she's gonna step in donkey poop <laughs> all right so we're gonna go to the base of the volcano and see if we can see anything volcano it's a big crater up there and there's a pathway so it's time for us to start hiking I know so many people there I did before Ronnie's going to no. you're gonna see her up there no. We almost arrived to the top. We're on the platform. We went up the dirt trail. Now we all we have to do is uh, climb the steps to the volcano brim. There so far. 180 steps. 90 or 80? 180. All right. Still got many? about maybe 50 or 100. 100 more, I don't know, I can't tell. Okay, we'll see. basically big sand dunes yeah. that you have to climb over and get to the base where you climb the 248 steps. Uh -huh. But here we are, we're at the brim of the volcano. It's definitely an active volcano as you can hear behind me. Yes. It's quite loud, quite a lot of sulfur coming off of the volcano. This is our reward. <laughs> we're going to enjoy the breeze, enjoy and the views. Back to the car. Back to the Land Cruiser. 248 steps down. <laughs> Congratulations. See you at the bottom. cruiser finally we're back down the 248 steps over the sand dunes through all the donkey poop back to the colorful barrage of land cruisers waiting for us in the parking we're almost there but Ronnie's hungry so I think we're gonna make a pit stop and she's gonna get some traditional Indonesian bakso I saw you so we'll see how that goes all right Let's see how this boxo tastes. Sambal. Enough one because I don't wanna 
Cool. All right, Ronnie, explain to the non Indonesian viewers yes. what is bakso? Bakso is like, um, what you call it's a I think this is uh, from chicken, like... Chicken meatball. Yes, but they also have a beef. But I guess this one is chicken. Okay. So let me try, so I will tell you. This is the thing with bakso for all you non-Indonesian viewers. The thing with bakso is, you never know what meat it is. <laughs> which is why Jeremy's not eating the bakso. Uh, Jeremy really loves bakso. Okay, try. Oops. This is chicken. Oh, we are stopped in Teletubbies Hill. Look at behind me. Looks like a in the Teletubbies cartoon. So green. It's really nice. Back to the Land Cruiser. We just finished the Teletubbies Hill. Now we're going back to our Airbnb in the center of Mylong. First, we have to go down the mountain in the Land Cruiser, so we'll see. It was just as bumpy on the way down as it was on the way up. back at our Airbnb now, back in Mylong. We're here in the courtyard and we are gonna call it a day. We are tired and hungry and sleepy. Yeah. It's been a long day for us. We've been up since early this, uh, well, last night, I guess. Mm -hmm. And now we're ready for some rest and I guess we'll be doing some editing as well. If you enjoy the travel content that we're making, go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Check that notification bell. So you know when our new videos are coming out every Sunday and Wednesday. If you enjoyed today's video of our adventure at Mount Bromo, go ahead and smash that like button and share it with your friends. And remember, you don't have to be a Kentuckian to travel with us. You just gotta have fun. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep on keeping on. Cheers. Cheers.